Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about analog and digital signals. Like the data they represent, signals can be either analog or digital. Analog signals can have an infinite number of values in a range, right? An analog signal has infinitely many levels of intensity over a period of time. Actually, the signals, uh, the simplest way to show signal is by plotting them on a pair of perpendicular axes. The horizontal axis, it represents time and the vertical axis, it represents the value or strength of a signal. Here you can see this uh, analog signal, right? You can see that as the wave is moving from one value to another value, it passes through and includes an infinite number of values along its path, right? The curve representing the analog signal passes through an infinite number of points, right? Now we will study about digital signal. A uh, digital signal can have only a limited number of defined values. Here you can see this uh, digital signal, right? So here you can see the vertical line of the digital signal demonstrates uh, the sudden jump that the signal makes from value to value. You can see this uh, vertical lines, right? These vertical lines of the digital signal they demonstrate the sudden jump that the signal makes from value to value now what happens are these both analog and digital signals can be periodic or non-periodic right so what happens in a periodic signal a periodic signal completes a pattern within a measurable time frame called a period right and it uh, repeats that pattern over subsequent identical periods. The completion of one full pattern is called a cycle. And what happens in case of non-periodic signal? Non-periodic signal changes without exhibiting a pattern or cycle uh, that repeats over time. Right. So what happens in data communication? We commonly use periodic analog signals and non-periodic digital signals.